Virgos, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Jade. This is Star, Moon, and Sun Tarot. I'm just clearing the energy here and the vibe. And I'm going to clear the resonance with the singing bowl. That was a loud one. One more softer. <clears throat> there we go. Wow, hello Virgos. This is going to be a luck and finance, financial abundance reading. Got a simple little spread I want to do just to take a look at uh, abundance, finances, luck. Okay, so if you're interested in any of the decks I am using, they will be listed in the description box below. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, that information can also be found in the description box below, as well as my email, and um, also my link for Instagram, jade underscore star 1111. It is a newer account over there, but I am starting to try to post more regularly, um, interact over there, and I will follow you guys back if you so desire. So let's see. Let's see. I just need one for Virgo. One for Virgo, please. We got protection and action here. Protection and action. You are you can feel free to uh, move towards something here with this action because you are protected in some way here. I don't want to stuff both of those in there, but action. The action seems important. There's some type of action here that needs to be taken. Let me see. This is another animal deck. The name is evading me right now, but I will have it in the description box below. That one. The raven. Shaman. Shaman energy. It says you are the creator and the magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place uh, as keeper of the mysteries. Interesting energy coming in Virgo. Okay, so let's see here. Luck and abundance, luck and finance. I have a slightly different variation of a Celtic cross spread I want to do. And it is going to totally fixate on advice for your uh, luck, abundance, okay, uh, money, manifestations, whatever you consider to be your abundance, okay, because the thing is, is to do, you know, with the general reading, it's going to be different for everyone. Um, whatever specific investments or choices <clears throat> is going to be very, very different. So instead, what I will do is ask some questions. Um, that's basically going to be all advice and what you should do to move towards your highest and best um, luck and abundance in all matters, okay? <clears throat> all right, so let's see. Angel Spirits Guides. Guardians, council members, ancestors. Show me what I need to see for Virgo, please. For the highest good. Give me one card. Where, how should Virgo see themselves here? How should Virgo view themselves? Okay. Wow. We have... This is the High Priestess. Mysterious. Um, you're very empathic. You're intuitive. Um, Knight of Cups. You have a lot to offer. And you shouldn't, um, you shouldn't shy away from, you know, things that are more fulfilling, more emotional, as far as your abundance and career. Let's kind of see, what's, what's crossing Virgo? 
what's the most major thing crossing Virgo from gaining abundance or six of swords? Okay, so moving to calmer water, whatever that is for you. Okay. How can Virgo be their best high vibe self? Should their highest energy vibe be to get this abundance in? Let's see. Wow. Yes. For uh, keep a victory mindset here. Six of Wands is victory. Oh, and this is the Page of Swords. So, um, researching, watching, seeking, keeping an eye out on yourself here, defending yourself, being willing to defend yourself, um, keeping your guard up a little bit here. Yeah, defending yourself, Seven of Wands. All right, show me uh, how the lower self, lower vibe, Virgo. Ooh, okay. Wow, Emperor energy upright, standing in your power, Aries energy. We're coming into Aries season. And we got the Queen of Pentacles. This is balanced, uh, stable energy, nurturing, mothering. Very, very good. Whether you're male or female, this is spectacular energy. And here's the Knight of Wands, being passionate and driven towards what you desire to build. I love this. Um, so this is Aries energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay, also Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarian energy. Lots of wands out here. Okay, what is uh, the past, any past influence on this? Okay, there might have been some burdens that you needed to release here with the Ten of Wands, Virgo. Um, and also, uh, maybe healing altruistically, doing some kind, um, generous things, giving to those in need, um, brought in a lot of healing. Future potential. Future potential, if you follow advice, we also are going to get an overall outcome as well. So this is just some more future potential for Virgo. To get as much good vibe energy as possible. Future potential. Wow, the sun. That's an amazing card. You got some potential, Virgo. I'm telling you. All right. So, any other advice to bring in more abundance? What else can Virgo do? Okay, finding your strength here um, through conflict and competition, finding the strength to overcome any competition in your field or whatever this is. Also, finding the strength not to participate in bashing and low vibe stuff, rise above that. That's the, you know, taming the, the beast, you know, within all of us that, you know, that low vibe energy, low vibrations. Um, anything that Virgo should be aware of in their environment that could affect this abundance. Okay. So nine of wands, somebody might have their walls up a little bit, really feel like they've been out to a battle. Um, and with death here, scorpionic energy. Perhaps something had to end here. Perhaps you've had to, you know, you've had a divorce and it's depleted your resources. Perhaps you've had a career change or you've put everything into starting something new and you're very defensive about it. Something had to end. Or perhaps there could be um, somebody around you that might be a little bit defensive here with that Scorpio energy. Anything else on this uh, Death Nine of Wands? Just, you know, have your guard up. Yeah, I don't know if it's anything. Yeah, we got King of Swords here. Somebody can be very, um, maybe verbally cutting. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. All right, so potential outcome. If Virgo follows all this advice for their abundance. 
Hold on. Whoa, okay. All right, so we do have um, some type of regret here. Um, and then we have the Eight of Wands, which is communication um, coming in. And then the Lovers, which can be about some type of choice. And the Moon, but not being able to maybe see clearly ahead. Um, you know, you don't want to be left with a lot of regret or maybe something... You know, maybe you have learned from some type of re past regret and now you're um, willing to jump on an opportunity, possibly um, invest in a new partnership. Even though you can't fully see the way forward clearly with the moon here. Yeah, Two of Cups. They're saying take the risk in a new venture, a new partnership. Wow, Ace of Cups on the bottom. There's potential here for something more emotionally fulfilling, Virgo. I really, really enjoy that. All right, I'm going to get one, maybe one or two Moonology for advice for Virgo, please. Advice for Virgo and luck and abundance, wealth. Oops. Remember to take take action here. Um, there is protection. You know, you don't have to be fearful of this. Sometimes you have to go like leap into the darkness to get rewarded. And with that raven coming out, Virgo, it's saying you are the creator, the magician of your own reality here. So please keep that in mind. What's the... Oh, okay, there's one. <laughs> Nothing is yet set in stone with the mutable moon. Anything else for Virgo? That one. Ooh, prosperity lies ahead with the new moon in Taurus. I love that. And let me see what's on the bottom. Emotions might be running high right now with the super moon. And we are in Pisces season, which can be very, very emotional. Um, trying time for many people. So just stick it out. Move through the energy. Nothing is yet set in stone, Virgo, okay? You have the potential to bring in a lot of abundance. There's a lot of prosperity in your future, okay? So thank you so much for joining me. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, huge thank you to all my new subscribers. You guys are the best. You mean the absolute world to me. And be sure to check back next week for your um, urgent love messages. That's what I'll be uh, doing for next week, okay? So thanks so much. Love to you all, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.